Chapter 36 This is the account of Esau, that is Edom. Esau took his wives from the women of Canaan, Ada, daughter of Elon the Hittite, and Oholibamah, daughter of Ana, and granddaughter of Zibion the Hivite. Also Basimath, daughter of Ishmael, and sister of Nebaioth. Ada bore Eliphaz to Esau. Basimath bore Ruel. And Oholibamah bore Jeush, Jalem, and Korah. These were the sons of Esau who were born to him in Canaan. Esau took his wives and sons and daughters and all the members of his household as well as his livestock and all his other animals and all the goods he had acquired in Canaan and moved to a land some distance from his brother Jacob. Their possessions were too great for them to remain together. The land where they were staying could not support them both because of their livestock. So Esau, that is Edom, settled in the hill country of Seir. This is the account of Esau, the father of the Edomites in the hill country of Seir. These are the names of Esau's sons, Eliphaz, the son of Esau's wife, Ada, and Ruel, the son of Esau's wife, Basimath. The sons of Eliphaz, Teman, Omar, Zepho, Gatam, and Kenaz. Esau's son, Eliphaz, also had a concubine named Timnah, who bore him Amalek. These were grandsons of Esau's wife, Ada. The sons of Ruel, Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. These were grandsons of Esau's wife, Basimath. The sons of Esau's wife, Aholibamah, daughter of Ana and granddaughter of Zibion, whom she bore to Esau, Jeush, Jalem, and Korah. These were the chiefs among Esau's descendants, the sons of Eliphaz, the firstborn of Esau, chiefs Teman, Omar, Zepho, Kenaz, Korah, Gatam, and Amalek. These were the chiefs descended from Eliphaz and Edom. They were grandsons of Ada. The sons of Esau's son Ruel, chiefs Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. These were the chiefs descended from Ruel and Edom. They were grandsons of Esau's wife, Basimath. The sons of Esau's wife, Aholabama, chiefs Jeush, Jalem, and Korah. These were the chiefs descended from Esau's wife, Aholabama, daughter of Ana. These were the sons of Esau, that is Edom, and these were their chiefs. These were the sons of Seir the Horite who were living in the region, Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Ana, Dishon, Ezer, and Dishan. These sons of Seir in Edom were Horite chiefs. The sons of Lotan, Horai and Homam, Timnah was Lotan's sister. The sons of Shobal, Alvan, Manahath, Ebal, Shepho, and Onam. The sons of Zibion, Aya and Ana. This is the Ana who discovered the hot springs in the desert while he was grazing the donkeys of his father Zibion. The children of Ana, Dishon and Aholabama, daughter of Ana. The sons of Dishon, Hemdan, Eshban, Ithran and Kiran, the sons of Ezer, Bilhan, Zeavan, and Achan, the sons of Dishan, Uz, and Aaron. These were the Horite chiefs, Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Ana, Dishan, Ezer, and Dishan. These were the Horite chiefs, according to their divisions in the land of Seir. These were the kings who reigned in Edom before any Israelite king reigned. Bela, son of Beor, became king of Edom. His city was named Dinhaba. When Bela died, Jobab, son of Zerah from Basra, succeeded him as king. When Jobab died, Hushim from the land of the Temanites succeeded him as king. When Hushim died, Hadad, son of Bedad, who defeated Midian in the country of Moab, succeeded him as king. His city was named Avith. When Hadad died, Samla from Masrika succeeded him as king. When Samla died, Shal from Rehoboth on the river succeeded him as king. When Shal died, Baal Hanan, son of Akbor, succeeded him as king. When Baal Hanan, son of Akbor, died, Hadad succeeded him as king. His city was named Pau, and his wife's name was Mehetabel, daughter of Matred, the daughter of Mizahab. These were the chiefs descended from Esau by name, according to their clans and regions, Timnah, Alva, Jetheth, Aholabama, Elah,
Pinon, Kinaz, Timon, Mibzar, Magdio, and Iram. These were the chiefs of Edom according to their settlements in the land they occupied. This was Esau, the father of the Edomites.